Hey, hey, everybody, what's going on? This is your girl, Sisters Intuition. My name is Shelly. Thank you all for clicking on my video. We are going to do a collective message. This is general. Um, there, may be, there may be messages in this video that may resonate with you and then it may not. So just please take the parts that resonate with you in your situation and leave out what doesn't. Baby, if it doesn't apply, let the shit flow. All right. What is the message for this uh, collective? So this is about you not being happy in a relationship. You're not happy right now. You are not happy in a situation right now at all. It's a message for the collective. So, yeah, you could be in a lot of debt. You could be in a lot of debt. Your credit's shot. You know, you could be, you know, no money going. You're in debt right now. Bad credit. But, you know, because you've been dealing with this, you've been dealing with somebody that's been arrogant, selfish, and their pride and ego, it's my way or the highway. You know, there's some nice of regrets here. You know, you've got to, you know, you could be in regret that you even got in this situation to begin with. You could have a side hustle that you have going on. It could be making you a, ooh, somebody's side hustle about to get them a chip to jail. Okay. So... This could be whoever this person is you're dealing with. They could have a side hustle that could be illegal, and they could be going to jail. Uh, yeah, buddy. Okay. Damn. <laughs> What's the message for the collective? You know, you could have been in this honeymoon phase, right, where you first got together, everything was good. You was talking. You know, you was around each other a lot, and, and you know, somebody could have got knocked up. You know, there could have been unexpected pregnancy, you know, children. It was unexpected, and now, you know, you're dealing with this. You know, you're having to fix yourself up because you've been through so much with this individual that all they've done is put you through a lot of pain. Everything that they said they was going to do, but they ain't done nothing. They've disappointed you, and they've betrayed you, your trust. They could have had a sneaky link, maybe they could have had a side piece. They could have been having a one-night stand with somebody. There could be some violence going on with this individual. You could have disagreements going on. But yeah, right now you really regretting it because you got yourself in a mess. What is the message for this group? Yeah, you took a hell of a loss here. This could have been out of the blue, right? This could have been a secret that popped out out of the blue. And it's like, you're taking a loss. You you have took a loss in the setback, yes. But I'm going to tell you something. When you said and built something one time, baby, you can get out there and build it again because I see manifestation. So even though you're taking a loss and you have regrets and you're in debt and, you know, you're going through all this pain and just utterly sadness emotionally how somebody could do you this way, you do have manifestation to where there is wish fulfillment and blessings coming in. Somebody had other options, baby. They had you on the rebound. They didn't have any intention to stay in. They were just playing the game, baby. You know, you're going through some financial struggle right now. You do you really need to reconsider? Is this shit for you? Really? Spirits want you to work on yourself. Work on your priorities. You know, work on healing. That is what spirit is wanting you to do. You've done you've done lost enough. You've done suffered enough. What is the message for the spirit? Bye, Felicia. Hell yeah. You know, you're you're you could be taking some time apart from this uh, individual. You could be on a break. Yeah. Here's the thing. You, you're 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 taking some time apart, right? Or there's this boy, because of course, what's going on here? But you you've been you've been so giving to this individual, and this person has been in their ego, like I can go out here and I can do what I want to, and this person is not going to get rid of me. What you got to do is spirit saying they want you to get rid of this codependency. You have this codependency to where you want to go around and you want to please people, whether it's friends, whether it's family, whether it's coworkers, whether it's a you know romantic relationship. You have a lot of insecurities within yourself, and spirits want you to love yourself on all levels. Get out of this codependency. You don't have to please others in order for them to like you. If they don't like you, like I say, if you don't like me, bite me. I don't give a damn. But you need to get out of this codependency trying to make others like you. You know what now? The less the merrier nowadays because most of us fake ass bitches anyways. Baby, this was a lesson. You know, you're coming to this realization that, th you know, this was a lesson. You know, your intuition, you know this person been playing mind games. 
spend plenty of money on guys to let them manipulate me. And then they do this run around with a guilt trip. You know, they want to guilt trip you. That way they can slide their ass back in. But right now, you're trying to be an adult, baby. You're trying to stay busy. You're trying to take your responsibilities, your challenges. You need to get rid of this shit. You're coming to this realization. This is the reason why you have so much massive regrets. Look at the shape I'm in right now. Look at what I have lost. There could be a... Um, could be having a, a talk, you know, sitting down, talking to each other, you know. But you just need to let this go. Spirit saying you need to let this shit go. They know it hurts, but you're never going to get what you want out of the situation. And I think that you're coming to this realization of that too. What is the message for this group? I'm trying to keep it all the time. Vulture. Yeah, you're going through a lot of depression. A lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. Look here, I'm telling you something right now. Let me tell you something. Look here. This this very tense situation that you're dealing with, you got this fear, this anxiety, this depression, all these tears that you cried, this sadness, the sorrow that you've been going through. Haystack, baby, you reap what you sow. They're gonna receive some karma for this. So don't even trip. The moon is here. That's you know, that's cancer energy, but this is around your emotions. You know, you feel like somebody's against you. And when you feel like that, that is spirit letting you know. Pay attention to the way that you feel around your emotions. You're not fucking crazy. Right? That's what they try to tell you. Too. Oh, you're crazy. Hell, you don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit. Might have been born at night, baby, but it wouldn't last like tonight. What's the message for this group? Secret admirer. <laughs> Gavel. Yeah, Involvement with the law. So there could be some type of legal stuff going on here as well. Like I said, in the month of December. Um, yeah, it could be in the month of December. But, uh, yeah, you've got somebody's two-faced. Better be careful. Where's the message for this group? Yeah, you know, right now, everything looks like there's nothing but darkness and there's no hope of anything good coming in. But this is temporary. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. You will be all right. What is the message for this group? Just know this person will get some karma. You know, all these people out here spreading lies about this situation. This person out here spreading lies. They're tell they're gossiping and spreading these rumors, and it's fake. Everything they're saying is lies. You know, period. Uh, this could be a group of people. You know, they're you, they're somebody salty. They're mad and they're upset could be about the evidence that they found. But you know what? Let karma, let the universe take care of it. So this for this group. This could be somebody at a distance from you. You know, you could have this strong emotional connection to this person. But baby, the first house is where you need to start finding you. You need to find your sense of identity, who you are. Be mindful about people that you're around and you know how you feel the first impressions is everything right but you, i can be around somebody in the first 30 seconds i can tell what, what, what kind of bullshit they are you know for real but yeah you're dealing with a tense situation but just know that karma gonna take care of it it's a fact what is the message from the screen gonna hurry up seven cups chariot cancer queen of wands yeah there's two queens here somebody got options could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Cancer. But, uh, yeah, this is about options. This is about your willpower, about moving forward. You know, you don't let anybody make you an option. Don't ever. Spirit wants you to get out of this codependence. They want you to be loving yourself just the way you are. And they want you to be self-assured. Be sure in yourself. Confident. You know, they want you to have the willpower to move forward. Full speed ahead, baby. Run. <laughs> because you got good things coming in. But there's confusion. Because the seven of cups brings confusion. So, you know, you maybe need to meditate, pray on it, you know, whatever be the case. But, yeah, there could be some, um, this person was financially using you. That's what happened. You got used. You got abused. You know, this is exactly what happened. And it's not right. But you know what? Keep having faith in God. Keep moving forward keep being the strong parent and taking care of your responsibilities and get out here and show them how it's done, baby. Because you don't need none of them. Just love yourself and know that you don't have to please anybody as long as you're getting out here and finding yourself and being happy. And know that karma gonna take care of business, baby. Y'all have a good one. Bye.